And that sexy outfit Monday night, what inspired that outfit for your performance? Oh, for Fighter? Yeah. Um, you know, I always try to bring it on stage. I mean, I'm a performer at heart, an artist, and, um, you know, it's it's fun for me to dress up and, and be as theatrical as possible, incorporate different themes into what I do. I think I've proven to be that person through videos and all my stage work through the past, so it's just what it sh should be expected, right? So you're looking amazing this season. Yeah. What's your secret? What have you been doing? Um, you know, we pre-taped the blind auditions early, and I've just had some time off to work on my record, get connected with myself, um, you know, not having to be constantly, you know, on camera and in, in the limelight and being able, being able to take that time off is really important. Um, that's why I take time with my records, get to know the person that I've grown and, and you know, come to be and what I've learned. And uh, last few years have been a lot and I just can't wait to put it all in the album and I'm really excited about releasing it. So all positivity. So Christina put on a little performance for you last night. Mm. You got two male strippers all to yourself, money being thrown at you. I mean, seriously, how <laughs> studly does that make me seem? I mean, we know Chris, what a stunt when, you are. Well, thank you. <laughs> but I didn't realize Christina knew that until now. And when I heard the, the band start in, I immediately started laughing because I, and I didn't know if this was going to go on like her entire performance or not. I was glad <laughs> that it was just a few seconds, not because I didn't want to hear her sing the song, but I wanted those stripper dudes <laughs> to get the hell away from me. Incredibly emotional show for you tonight. I know, I know. It's saying goodbye to my bottom two, I mean, now we're down to the wire. We have, you know, it's, it's really down to the people that have earned a spot to be here. No one really deserves to go home, so we're in really awkward shoes at this point to make a decision. But as always, I know no other way to be than honest and genuine and go with my gut, my heart, my soul. And tonight, Lindsay brought me to tears. I just think there's something really angelic about her voice. I believe it. Ray Lynn? I'm shocked. I am too. I, I mean, I, uh, it hurts. I mean, I didn't want to. I didn't want to send Ray Lynn home. That was the last thing I wanted to do, but, uh, you know, I have to also do what, what my job is on this show.